the, the next piece is reviews and real reviews from real customers in your true service area. Um, the companies that have the most reviews tend to win. Like I, I did an analysis of the top 50 cities in the United States, um, the companies that were ranking the three pack for plumbing, AC repair, heating repair, and for the most part, the you know it was pretty much stacked order. The companies with the most online reviews were in the top three pack, right? And so you want to make sure that you're doing great service, you're generating lots of reviews, and you've got a strategy to drive those reviews on a consistent basis. Best practice for this. Uh, leverage tools to ensure that a review request goes out after every service call. So every service call, there should be an email and a text message going to your customer, thanking them for their business, asking them to go ahead and write a review for you, and, and giving them the option. Do you want to do that on Google? Do you want to do that on Yelp? Do you want to do that on Angie's List? Um, and or, and here's the caveat, uh, we want to hard log to Google if somebody's already on Google. So most of these tools nowadays, if you look at um, nearby now, if you look at BirdEye, if you look at uh, you know some of the others, if if you sent a text message to someone and they get it and it says, hey, thanks for your business, write us a review, it's logical enough to say when they click that, it's going to hard log them straight to their Google profile if they've already got a Google account and they're already logged in. All things being equal, a Google review is more valuable than all of the other review sites that you can get. So. You're not going to create, you're not going to get someone to write a review if they don't already have a Google account. So that's where, give them the option. You can let them do Yelp, let them do Angie's List, let them you know, do it right on Nearby Now or something. However, if they're a Google user and they're already logged in, we want to send them directly to Google to write that, to write that review. So we're going to leverage those tools. I'm going to share some of the best review tools available, ones that you might want to think about. Um, you want to leave some type of printed review card. So that's a just a business card type uh, document that you can say, hey, thanks so much for your business, and train your tech to leave that with the customer, or even train the tech to show them, hey, look, here's a, a, a review. I get gauged based on the feedback from our customers. And if you pull up this website and either have them pull it up on their desktop or pull it up on their on their iPhone, not your text, but the customers, um, and take them to the place where they can write that review, that that's a great strategy. Um, so you really want to train your text to plant the seed, right? I find that our clients that have the most reviews, it's not just organically happening where they provide great service. That's, that's a very important piece of the puzzle. But they've baked it into the culture that the tech knows he needs to plant the seed. Hey, by the way, I get gauged based on the feedback across the Internet. So if you can take a couple minutes, if you had a good experience, and write me a review, you know, that's really important to me. So like they got to be trained to, to plant the seed. Um, having somebody in the office that can call after the service, hey, just wanted you know most of you guys post in comments if you do happy calls. I think most of you guys probably do happy calls. So you're calling and say, hey, thanks so much for your business. Just wanted to see how Billy did. Yep. So Chad's saying yes. Part of that happy call is, hey, by the way, you know, we'd love it if you take a minute to write us a review and and send them the link while they're on that call and get them to the place where they write the reviews. And the third piece is, to, and the last piece is to build reviews and recognition, recognition into your company experience, right? So actually having the, the members of your team that get the most reviews be rewarded, spiffed, and recognized in front of their peers. So our clients that do the best with this, and Chad, I, you know, you guys do amazing on this. Chad Westover from Valley Plumbing, uh, he's been commenting in here. Um, making sure that when you have that weekly meeting or when you have that monthly huddle, you're, you're pulling up, hey, look, look at all the great reviews our company got. We're doing great work. Special shout out to Billy because he got 12 reviews this week. Here are the reviews he got. He's the winner of the reviewee of the, of the, uh, of the month or the reviewee of the week, and here's his reward. The clients that do that tend to be doing best with their, with their online reviews because they've kind of baked this whole thing into their, their company culture and into their company experience. So some of the cool tools that we're seeing uh, on this front that work really well, um, nearby now I'm a big fan of it because you know, we have the check-in process, we have the review request, um, it builds heat map data, it drives online reviews with the, with the hard login into, um, uh, into Google, you, leveraging email and text messaging. Uh, review Buzz is used by a lot of our clients in this space. 
uh, Customer Lobby, BirdEye, uh, hearing a lot more about Podium. Lots of great tools. I'm not so hard and fast on any of these particular tools. I'm more hard and fast on the idea of making sure that a request for review goes out after every service call, thanking the customer, asking them to write a review, and then making sure that it's um, kind of built into your company culture that you know you celebrate that progress, you celebrate those those positive reviews. And I really think the gold standard to this is when you can automate it. So 12 months, a year and a half ago, if you wanted to do a request to review, somebody had to key in the name and email address and press send. Or, or a technician had to check in and type in a name and email address and, set and press send. And it can be done, but it creates another step for the text, which creates friction. And anytime there's friction, you can have missed opportunities. So in my mind, I love Service Titan. We are strategic partners with Service Titan. I believe it's the strongest uh, CRM dispatch platform in the industry. Um, you know, great way to track your marketing, great way to track your lead sources and know the true return on investment, as well as a lot of the other benefits. But to me, the best way to automate this review process is after the job is closed in Service Titan, having the request for review automatic and automate it so that you kind of take your tech out of the equation, you take your, your team out of the equation, at least for the requesting piece of the, of the process. And um, there's lots of integrations now where when you close a job in Service Titan, uh, a review request is triggered. And I really want to encourage you guys, if, you, if you've got Service Titan or maybe um, some of the other web-based, like uh, Field Edge and some of the other web-based dispatch platforms, make sure that you're har harnessing the power of automation to let this process be done automatically. Well, I hope you got value from that video. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to really more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd like to invite you to go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Uh, there we've outlined the ultimate online marketing checklist for plumbing and HVAC contractors to, to really maximize your lead flow online. This really simplifies the entire online marketing equation into a checklist that you can easily identify what you should do next and what you could do to really probably double, triple, or even 10x the number of leads you're getting for your plumbing or HVAC business online. So you can get that completely free of charge, simple one-page checklist with a video that explains and kind of walks you through it. Just go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Talk to you soon.